All right, we're back, Will, within Two Mobile, coming back at you with the T-Mobile Vibrant here, the T-Mobile Samsung Vibrant, which is the uh, T-Mobile variant of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S here. Um, took a little quick little hardware tour, kind of uh, also showed you guys what the uh, T-Mobile Vibrant looked like compared to the AT&T Captivate, both uh, U.S. variants of the Samsung Galaxy S, the T-Mobile Vibrant being closer to the stock Galaxy S in terms of uh, design than the AT&T version, which is highly modified, uh, especially with the way the battery cover undoes itself um, right there. But uh, as promised, um, we have, we're have uh, we going on to the hard, uh, we moved on from the hardware tour, going on to the software tour. So uh, spoke about hard, hardware on the last run, this time around we're going to talk about software. Booted this guy up, uh, did a couple things, uh, rejiggered a couple things, and installed a couple things just so I could show you guys. Um, wow, yeah, again, the screen is really bright. Um, that's to be expected, right? Um, here we go. Compare that with the... Oh, that's an interesting lock screen. Never seen that one before. Little puzzle lock screen there. Compare that the two screens and yes you can see this one's green and it looks a little brighter because the green but the blue is also obviously very bright that's because of the Super AMOLED display but this is a software tour so I'm not gonna get into that this is uh, not a hardware tour um, okay so if I were to add a feed here I would get um, this is the Samsung's customized S-Life home screen skin for Android um, notice that you don't you have all these sliding panes you have seven panes right you have the center and three on either side, three to the right, three to the left, um, all loaded with widgets and stuff. Um, you get some preloaded stuff like, uh, oh well, you get uh, some, you get shortcut to go go, hotspot access, swipe tips. You got Gmail and Maps on this pane. I don't know why it's all the way over there. You got your widget for feeds and updates. You got all this stuff, and the phone comes preloaded with Kindle Reader, The Sims 3 game, Moby TV, and Avatar the movie. So that's cool. You also get the market web, YouTube camera apps down there. No dedicated sh shutter button, so you're going to have to activate the camera in order to actually... Um, I mean, you're going to have to use the on-screen on shutter to activate. There's no physical shutter button anywhere. But anyways... Um, uh, we'll come back to the camera application in a bit. Um, and on the right side, you've got your Slacker radio, your Amazon MP3 store, and a couple empty panes. And on the bottom, instead of a, an app drawer um, flanked by, say, the call button and the contacts button, you get this app icon here. And as with the AT&T version, the AT&T Captivate, uh, AT&T's version of the Samsung Galaxy S, it has a whole new app tray. Um, they're not just icons sitting there, as uh, we see with, say, something like the Droid X. You see the app icons are a bit different. You, you just have the icons here sitting on a plain back background, whereas on the on the Galaxy S, the T-Mobile Vibrant here, you got the app icons kind of sitting on top of a background badge, which is then sitting on top of a black background. Um, say that three times fast, I dare ya. Um, so it gives it a kind of a customized look and feel that Samsung was trying to kind of in, instill into their S-Life UI. It gives it a little bit of a cartoony feel. Um, not sure if I like it or if I don't like it. Um, it's different, that's for sure. Um, and to get back to home, you just hit that home. If you go here and you hit home, you're going to get taken back to the home screen as well. So, like that. Okay, so, um, let's take a couple, let's like, take a look. Um, what we didn't see on the home screen was uh, the daily briefing widget. So, that's the, one of the Samsung widgets. And daily briefing we showed you before with AT&T Samsung Captivate. It's, uh, it, it's kind of a really fast way to keep track of, say... Um, Keep track of stuff like your stocks, your news data, um, your your upcoming events, and weather. Tap to add city there. We're going to add, say, so there we go. You know, right as your, uh, just to add a glance information, widget information, you get your weather, you know, in Fahrenheit, highs and lows, current and uh, sun conditions. You get your... Uh, finance information like stocks, you get at a glance news updates from AP Mobile, and you get your uh, calendar stuff. If you want to drill down a little bit more, you click on the widget and you're taken to the daily briefing. That was the daily briefing widget, right? Click on it to get taken to the daily briefing app where you can drill, drill down deeper. So instead of getting just at a glance information, instead of just the 
crucial essential stock numbers, you get actual, um, you know, uh, tre hist historical analytics on the on the stock, uh, you know, in, in with different kinds of options. Um, and sl sliding to the left, you get more in depth weather information uh, for multiple days, hour by hour, radar, satellite forecast details, stuff like that. That kicks you out to the browser. We're just gonna go right back. Um, finance right there. You've got your news right there. Got your calendar right there. Right. So, um, and if you it goes horizontally like that, depending on whatever your preference is. So that's daily briefing. And one of the cool things is you can actually wake up to daily briefing from the Samsung Smart Alarm. So the Smart Alarm is basically, so just it's just within the alarm. When you create an alarm, it gives you all the regular uh, options, right? Time, how many times you want to repeat the name of the alarm, how long you want it to snooze for. You can actually set it as a daily briefing. So when your alarm goes off, it brings up your daily briefing. And so you wake up, boom, and you've got your um, finance, your news, your upcoming events on your calendar, as well as the weather all in one place as you wake up. And you can make it a smart alarm. So you're not waking up to something that's really annoying. You're waking up to, you're not, you're waking up to something more mellow, like, um, say that. Oh, that's not so mellow. Ah, oh, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you can set your smart alarm to go for all different kinds of durations, 3, 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes, but you don't have to listen to that crap. You can listen to something nice and soothing like this. Imagine waking up to that, playing for say, oh, 15 minutes, and you hear this for 15 minutes. Eventually, you're going to wake up, and you're going to wake you're going to wake up right to the daily briefing, which tells you all your, which gives you all your um, at a glance information to start your day off. And again, you can set that as your daily briefing. We're not going to do that right now. So that's a smart alarm, which can be linked to daily briefing, which I have now added as an uh, as a as a widget right there. So cool on that. A um, couple other things uh, I want to show you is uh, Moby TV. Just booting it up there. Starting the trial. You get 30 days apparently. And there we go. We have on-demand TV. We have um, live TV, this is the home. Let's kind of scroll through, see the shows. Oh, well, I do like, uh, do like Daily Show. So why don't we clap on Daily Show? We're going to browse Daily Show, see what the Daily Show's got. So these are on demand. So that was July 8th. It's not July 8th, so it's not live TV, but it's on demand TV. They've got backlogs of, uh, of uh, TV shows that you can just watch, queue up, and have it pull down right away, like so. You can access, you know, the whole, the menu, the episodes list. You can also access them this way. These guys slide around like that. That's pretty cool. Going full screen. Not bad quality. This is on-demand streaming video. So there you go. That's a little bit of an idea. Now let's go to live TV. Let's say Fox News. And again, you've got these down here, and now they're, the thumbnails have tiles, and you can scroll through them and check out the different channels you want on your live. That's live TV, right there. Um, you know what, for the sake of not pushing Fox News crap on you guys, let's go to, uh, let's go there. Something a little more neutral, depending on your political affiliations. Maybe, may or may not uh, prefer Fox News. I know I do not. But they do have an awesome ticker. So, um, okay, that's not working. Let's go to something else. Let's go to ABC. So this is all live TV. This should bring up ABC's live feed. Or, you know, 
close to live. Oh, the audio's a little off, but, uh, you know, it's live TV, so hopefully it'll sync up at some point. And that's all TV off, so you can browse all this stuff without having to watch TV in the background. And, uh, so, okay, that's a quick little look at the Moby TV app. I also want to show you guys, it comes preloaded with the Avatar movie. So just check that out real quick. And if I wanted to, I could use a 3.5 millimeter to uh, AV cable to connect this to my TV and stream this movie in 720p high def. Oh man, that really looks good. You see that? Very viewable at all kinds of angles. High quality. And that is the Samsung the Super AMOLED display. Ooh, her hair looks kind of uh, interesting, but I've seen the movie, so I knew that already. Um, and finally, last thing in our software tour is going to be The Sims 3. comes preloaded with Sims 3 right there, so that's really cool. Um, we're going to get through this real quick. Instead of uh, focusing on Sims 3 for too long, I just want to show you guys, have it start up real quick. Wow, looks good. Colors look good. Very bright, and contrast is off the hook. There you go, so you can play. Um, we're not going to play, I just want to show you guys that it does start up. Um, we do have another video showing Sims 3 um, on Android, so um, it's, it's pretty much the same. Um, if you want to see it, check it out. We're not going to go through it right now. So that's been a quick little software. Oh, one more thing. One cool thing that T-Mobile has done, well, that Samsung has done with their S-Life UI, is in the notifications tray up there, which up here, which is usually only intended for new um, email notifications and you know system notifications, I can clear it like that. You also get quick access to turning on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, going, um, I'm going to turn Wi-Fi off, actually, going into silent mode, stuff like that, turning the GPS off to save power. Very cool. That's a uh, customization for, by, done by Samsung on the uh, with their S-Life UI for uh, Android. So that's a quick little uh, software tour of the T-Mobile Vibrant, the T-Mobile Samsung, Samsung Vibrant, which is, a, of course, a, another Galaxy S variant for the U.S.